Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a tutorial of Dreaming with a Broken Heart. Um, I noticed that there weren't that many tutorials on YouTube, so I decided to make one. I hope you guys um, learn this pretty pretty easily. Uh, it's, it's a pretty easy song to play. I'm going to start right off with the uh, right hand of the uh, beginning. This is how it goes. It's just the same thing over and over again. I'm not gonna go into like, I'm not gonna repeat it and such. I know like people on YouTube, they don't like these really long tutorials. So I'm gonna keep it short, quick, quick and easy. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Combine it with the left hand. Left hand's pretty easy. Play it again. Okay, so that's what you play whenever you uh, sing the first or second verse as well as the end. The chorus goes as follows. Right hand goes like this. One more time. Left hand, you're just playing the bass note of whatever right hand's playing, so it's pretty simple. Is she standing in my room? That's how it goes. And then the next part. No, she's not. Cause she's gone, 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 gone. I'll do that part one more time. The right hand goes like this. High G. And then you got a C major chord. G major chord, G minor chord, some weird chord, and then G chord again. And then uh, left hand just plays the uh, bass note again. So it's like um, C chord, G chord, G minor chord, weird chord, G chord. So that's the entire chorus. Um, I'll play it one more time, the whole thing, both parts. One more time. And this one he goes, No, she's not. Cause she's gone. second verse, which is what we just learned. And you keep doing that, and you go through the entire second chorus again, and then to when you're at the second chorus at the end, then it starts changing, because then you have to go into that interlude where you got just the uh, piano going, or whatever it's going to be. So this is the end of the second chorus. And then and you go... You get the, the part. I'm going to play for you first. easy, right? Right hand goes like this. Okay, and then the left hand is pretty easy. All you go is three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put it all together. four times, you do that four times, and then you go, and that's when John Mayer starts singing, Now do I have to fall asleep with roses in my hands? And then when he starts singing that, this is what you do, it's pretty easy, you just 
play G chord. Now do I have to fall asleep? D major chord with roses in my hands. And this E minor chord. Two, three. Now do I have to fall asleep with roses in my hands? The last time you just do it again is when he goes really high. C. Okay? So the entire interlude it's like this. I'm only gonna do the last time. After that, John Mayer goes back to the chorus again, so it's just the chorus again. And this time it's only one time, that's the only difference, it's only once what I just played. You only play it once, the other times you play it twice. So, and then, high G, and then, C chord, G chord, G minor chord, and then, G chord. And then you end up on this part again. Yeah, something like that, okay? Um, I know I went through this a little quickly, but I'm just gonna give you a run through of what I just taught the first part. That's one part. You guys should be able to just put the puzzle pieces together. Um, that's the first part, the chorus. And then... this part. And that's basically all there is to this song. Um, I hope you guys learn how to play it. It's actually pretty easy. It's really fun once you learn how to play it and once you know the basics you can add your own style into it. I just gave you a basic run through. Um, this is not actually um, a very... Um, this is not how... This is the basic... basic uh, style. Um, you can add your own twist to it if you want. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.